Choose to forgive. God's just a baby, and her diaper is wet.
We are the Halusa Nation. Learn to control it. We are the evolution. The continuation. We are the Halusa Nation. and sky. Our DNA is a past and future. The people, the people, the people, the people, the noise from mother fucking. The virus took on many shapes. The bear, the elk, the antelope, the elephant, the deer, the mineral, the iron, the copper, the colt, and the rubber, the car.
Everyone is seeking initiation into the order of the White Brotherhood. Yeah, this life is initiation. 
That is why you hear initiation is never over. As long as you are aware, you are in a trial of one type or another. LSD and other entheogens, along with all drugs in my opinion, are initiation sacraments. The drugs you take alter your perceptions to be more like the aspect of Godhead you're invoking. All uncertain drugs, all <laughs> uncertain drugs are instantly recognized by anyone else on them or familiar with them. Like possession or the drunkenness of Bacchus. It's all scribbled up. Communion with Dionysus and his kin. These demons and deities are often shown as admixed creatures. This shows the type of intelligence being dealt with. Certain drugs tune into titanic forces that care little for human life. But together, a new creature is made. Like the third mind concept. When two people talk long enough on a subject, eventually they'll reach conclusions they couldn't alone. Reality is vibrations, frequency, an ocean of chaos. A belly with teeth is where we call home. But like within the human body, chakras are formed and activated. We endure the duration because we choose to. Entropy seeks to convince you death is preferable. But our mission, beyond finding meaning for Mephistopheles, is to reveal the rising order within the chaos. Like the human body, we need to have redundancies built atop one another to ensure our tribe does not become diseased like so many other groups in our current vulgar era. Whatever your work is, write it out as if you're talking to someone who's never heard it before, like you're talking to a child or some kind of alien being. I am life and the giver giver of life, therefore the knowledge of me is the knowledge of death. That warmth and rush, the near-death invocation, gives life a run for its money, and is often enough to beckon many to the grave, to shed this mortal coil, for life is suffering, right? Wrong. 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 No. 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 Attachments in life lead to suffering. Attachments to outcomes, to people and products, to things we own or make. But this mentality reveals what we are up against. Before truth synthesis, there is antithesis. Putrefication is a necessary part of the process. You are here to purify love, make gold from manure. This world is where you can choose to continue to endure or give up. That is what initiation is all about. And the coal and the cult Alex and Allison speak of is the only one you should be concerned with. The Holy Family is what is made when a couple chooses to make the great turn together. True alchemy, the key to immortality, the Holy Grail and Philosopher's Stones are all key elements in this work. Community breeds necessity, which invites the service of many. Our dream is to do what we are already doing, but with your my participation, as in teachers, plumbers, doctors, especially psychiatrists, police, carpenters, masons, etc. The Tyler Durden in us believes we need to burn this system down and erect a new one. But this is the Antichrist, the antith antithesis persona, one who has awakened face down in the pit and sees no other choice but to drag all with him. The choice to make the great turn does not even occur to one in this position. There is no arguing or reasoning with someone here. They would see you as ignorant and naive. And often people react violently to love. Like how in a drug addict where heroin has tricked the survival mechanisms in the brain, making one feel life has nothing to offer. To them and their reasoning, darkness is truth. The light is a temporary nuisance like an itch that wakes you from a good sleep. And we can all relate. But for light bearers, choosing where to shed light is half the job. Best to see life as a garden. At least your life in it. You nourish what you want to see bloom. 
You do this by first choosing how to arrange all what you want to coexist. Then give each what they need according to their nature. The variety of the garden determines the nature of the work. Will do, therefore become. You are not a being, you are a becoming. Hear it? <laughs> Hear it come? Throw off my soft shoes, maybe dance a little boogaloo. Biggie's busy playing the war. Yeah, maybe, maybe we just do that. Because old Usher, old Usher had to show off his fucking killer skills in that Marshall, dude. I'm sure whatever the fuck he was selling was just really fucking good. I should go back and watch it again because I love him. And figure it out and go buy it. Buys it. Can't find the song he wants. Oh, I forget even what it went. What was it? Oh. I need a. Not on YouTube. These automated piece of shit. Somebody else. Stop. <laughs> Buddha was hiding. 
like literally or something. TV on the radio, that means I just want to see TV at the radio. They're showing me everything but goddamn TV on the fucking radio. Woo! Here's a fucking full moon song. Got a curse I cannot live. Physical things. Needs confusion. <laughs> Analog. <laughs> Reversed engineered from shit. <laughs> That'll blow your mongrel mind. I'd rather lose. 
easy to win. Anyone can fucking win. Gotta get a sub, dude. <laughs> oh, fuck. Outside. <laughs> it's time. It's like a cracker. 